Kevin's homebrew coming at you with a beer review. Kevin here with Billy Crocker, Betty Crocker. What the hell is that shirt? It's my. It's. It is my ugly sweater T-shirt. It looks good, doesn't it? That is an ugly sweater. Ah, uh, well, you know. <coughs> my I God. Was, I was in the mood for an ugly sweater T-shirt day. What can I say? Well, we had another cooker here, so we're back out on the patio again. Yeah, it's a I nice was just wishing Christmas would come around. That's why. That's all. Anyways, here we go. We got it. We got a little shift. It is in the IPA category. Oh, uh, what's up with but this? What we got there? Oh, uh, we have the Hop Karma Brown IPA by Terrapin. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, shh. What this is, is that? A, this is an American brown ale. Oh, look, I'm, I'm a turtle. Oh, I'm a brown turtle. <laughs> what, you, what you gotta know about this? <laughs> it's Hop Karma Brown IPA. Is, is their description I love. It's a head-on collision between a hoppy West Coast IPA and a complex multi-brown ale. Brewed with five varieties of hops and seven, seven different malts, this hybrid style represents the best of both worlds. Does it? Yeah, we're, we're gonna Does have it? To, we're gonna have to talk loud because we've got mowing going on next door, so. Well. It's to beat the heat. Darn people mowing and like. Let's get cracking. All right, that's it. Or at least the cracking. Release the terrapin. Release the terrapin. The terrapin. There's a whole corral of terrapin. A whole pool, pond. So we've got one bottle of this for Sharon. Oh my. We'll see how this goes. But we're gonna put these in our little brown snifter type glasses. That was close enough, I think. That's great. All right, I got a light over here. Ooh. I can see a little bit of red it's, through it. It's um, pretty dark. It's pretty dark. Look at that. I, I just see red at the edges. And uh, so it's not completely dense. I mean, it is a brown color with kind of red colors at the edges. I like it. Just a little bit of a head on there. Let me give it a swirl. Let's see if we can build some back up. Oh yeah, we build up a nice one finger head with yeah, a swirl. Yeah, look at this. It's just nice and brown. Fact, it's got and hints now. of. You you know what I would call that? It looks like it would be hints of like a. Like the nitro or something. No, or... it's got like a dark reddish tint, like by, like like pure concentrate cranberry kind of mixed in there yeah. or something like that. Like that's kind of what I'm seeing when it comes to this. Like it's got just this dark red hit. But it's brown. How am I going to nose on this All right, one? Here we go. Oh. <sighs> That's I good. I smell a deep brown ale in there. Oh, this is yummy. This almost made me think of a. Uh, this almost made me think mm. more like a, a little bit of Belgian brown to it or something. Yeah. Just, yeah. Because I'm getting dark fruit scents off of this. Mm. I mean, seriously. Got a little bit of roastiness, you know, a little bit of chocolate. Yeah, there is a but chocolate But I'm getting some senses. dark fruits on this thing. <coughs> hmm. Wow. Like a, you didn't see like that. some plum, prune, date kind of scents. Hmm. That's a surprise. Kind of a, a little bit of breadiness in yeah. the scent. We're going towards like a more of a like a Belgian or yeah, something. Belgian, uh, dark Belgian. Yeah. Um, wow. This this has some really fantastic. Which beer did I pour? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. No, I poured the brown ale. Hop Karma Brown IPA. I'm really. You know, I don't know if we held it too long. I, I don't know. I'm not not really getting a lot of hop scent off of it. No. Um, really. This. This is kind of a unique beer. So this has five hops. It has Nugget, Chinook, Centennial, Willamette, and it's dry hopped with Columbus. It also has a lot of malts going on. It has a pale malt, dark Munich, Victory, Ooh, I, I got a scent of that pale right roast, there. Special roast, 
Crystal 60, Crystal 77, and Chocolate. So they really do have a lot going on. Oh, yeah. Day. I, I, I get a small scent of the uh, of the hops in there, but it's oh yeah, it's oh, oh, fruity oh. and it's I'm it's uh, it's it's time to taste it. I'm That's what frothing. it is. Mm. Well, the wow. first thing that struck me is the body is much lighter than I was prepared for. Yes, and it's brown. It is a brown ale, it like they said, ale. and it tastes like a brown. I like it. So yeah, it's just got this nice brown taste to it. You're getting a little bit of the hops at the end, but kind of like this with this beer, I'm not getting that fruity taste that I was smelling. A really thin one. So it has those flavors. They're just very light. They're they're a tease. They're there to me anyway. And even even as I go up the sip. As I'm smelling it, I get all that mm. dark fruits and everything again. Tiny bits, tiny bits. Mm, I just like how it's a brown ale. I've been, I've been missing my, my other ales in the world. Wow, this is actually um, for a, a hot summer day. You know, the late evening where it's mm -hmm. cooling off. Mm, this is good. With it being a little bit lighter, this is a really nice beer. I gotta tell you, I kind of really like this beer, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's unique. It's very unique. I'm gonna give this uh, an 87 out of Browns. Yeah, no, it's a good brown. Look at that. And the reason I'm not going higher is because these hints of taste that are there. I know this is not a stout, it's a brown, but I don't know, I wish I wish I had just a little bit more of them there, I suppose, and, and that might be well, rating it wrong. No, well, you gotta remember, browns are more of a lighter mm -hmm. ale. Usually you get more of the honey flavors out of browns, that's where they t like to lend towards because of its lighter flavor. That's a, a lot of the browns I've seen. I've had, I've had other hoppy brown ales. There's a really good one by Ten Barrel Brewing that I've had. That and, and it was very fresh. Um, but this is definitely, it's it's a darker brown ale with a light body and I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. It's not the excellent or world crap class range that we've been getting with a lot of our other you know, uh, um, Imperial beers that well, we Well, Imperials having. are just going to be rich, but yeah. But this has a great flavor yeah, base. And does. because of that, and because of how well it's done, and even with the shipping and everything, and losing a little bit of the IPA flavor maybe, I'm still going to give it an 88. This is an excellent brown ale. So we're, we're talking brown. This is good. Yeah, yeah, it is good brown. Um, overall... This is another one where I'm right about the same place, and I'm gonna just step down one spot. I think. Well, no, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with an 87. I love those hints of the of the fig and things in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't say that before. That one might be more nailing it. More like a fig or something in there. That's where you're going. And for me. Uh... I'm going to step down a little bit myself. I'm going to go with an 86. Um, I really like this beer. And I think anyone who has a chance of getting a hold of it should try it. Especially when it's a little bit fresher. Uh, it has yeah. excellent taste. It's a very strong brown. It's, you know, it's not a generic brown. It's got its own flavors and everything too. And I really like it. Uh, Overall, yeah, it's lending towards the stout style almost in a way. But uh, it's they've done a great job. So I I I congrats Terrapin for making a good yeah. brown ale like yeah. this. It is. It's a really Especially, good brown. Especially, I mean, it's a hot day and I'm drinking a brown, and not even thinking about it. Yeah. So. Well, I tell you what, uh, we've had half a beer. We're gonna kind of 
uh, get our wits together and do some stuff. And I think we're going to come back and do another beer review in a minute. What? Another one? Yeah, half a beer. That's uh, not a big know, deal. Yeah, half a beer. Why not? Let's, let's crack another one. We'll be oh, right okay. back with another beer review. I don't know if you'll see it the same day. Yeah, I know you won't. No, never. But from Oregon, this is Christian Kevin with Clement's Homebrew. We'll catch you on the next review. See you guys. Thank you.